guys welcome back uh, Techatronics back here and today we're gonna make some sodium hypochlorite using simple household materials like salt water batteries and some ink so it's pretty simple you need a beaker or any fancy liquid container some about 200 ml of water and 200 grams you need two grams of salt for every 200 ml so that's one gram for 100 ml so based on that you can calculate so you need a small container uh, to pour ink and pour water that is to test the uh, next you will be needing some batteries and the battery holder this is a 3.7 volt uh, lithium ion battery it's called 18650 these are used in tesla cars not the exact one uh, this is a 9 volt battery you can also use that or you can use AA or AAA make sure you use rechargeable batteries not alkaline ones they drain up so quick um, uh, anything that gives about 1.2 to 1.4 amps of current should be fine and you need a old phone charger if you don't have the batteries um, this is 6 volts 1.2 amps it should work uh, next uh, we'll be needing this so called electrode thingy uh, I've made this thing on my own uh, using two electrodes of car uh, carbon uh, from an old alkaline cell uh, you should only use carbon as electrode uh, because if you use um, other metals they could take up intermediary reactions in there and make your sodium hypochlorite unpure next you will be needing some salt and a beaker or any other container with about 25 ml of water and some ink you can use how much or what you want that doesn't matter but for the reaction we will need 200 ml of water you can also use other rings from this pen, uh, any rollerball pen. For example, this pilot, uh, this is a pilot V5. Uh, any ink uh, that is not waterproof would work. So now let's start. So first, I'm going to show you how to take off old cells, and I'm going to tell you how I made this thing. Um, so you need an old alkaline battery. Make sure you use cheap alkaline batteries. Uh, uh, if you use costly ones like DRSL, they are not easy to open. Trust me, I've been into uh, this uh, for long enough and you need a um, uh, saw and other kinds of stuff to break into the DRSL battery. So it's horrifying and terrific. So you can go out with cheap uh, ones and make sure you use used up uh, batteries so that uh, they won't end up in flame when you cut them open so uh, let's start opening it so you need a screwdriver and a utility knife take the battery open its R covering using uh, uh, screwdriver another way to detect if a battery is op uh, easily openable you can just see if it has an outer metal sheet covering like this one um, most of them which have an outer metal covering like this one are pretty easy to open okay so for example this is another battery that has an outer metal covering it's similar to that one um, so this one is also easy to open same process for every battery I'm just showing this as a reference you will need uh, two electrodes out of two batteries each battery has one electrode and make sure you use alkaline used up batteries are used the alkaline batteries now remove the outer uh, plastic sheet uh, I think you'll have this uh, thing on almost every battery it's used as an insulator so that dull looking metal is actually uh, zinc and that's how you open that I'm gonna just gonna cut that out yeah kinda. yeah now I broke into the battery now it's pretty simple so I'm just gonna take it out this is the carbon electrode I've cleaned this up they need to be clean before they are inserted so how I made this is I put these electrodes in a mold that I made on my own you can make it on my own put another video on how to make that and then I scraped that a part of that and then just soldered that and then took two wires and pull them out that's it and just fill that mold with uh, some hot glue and that's it I had to make that electrode so 
the principle of that is uh, carb um, hot glue makes it float on water so you don't want the electrodes to go inside the water you want them to float okay so now I added some salt uh, about 2 grams in 200 ml of water uh, I'm gonna mix that right now so you don't want the if you are you uh, if you're tying wires to the electrode and putting them in make sure that the wires do not touch the wire um, you can use cloth clips or any other clips to you know plug them on top of the container and just make uh, make sure that the tip or a part of carbon electrode grows in you can increase the time or you can increase the salt to increase the concentration of um, sodium hypochlorate in the solution uh, just make sure that the wire or the thing that uh, wire does not touch the you know the salt uh, electrolyte so now I'm gonna place my electrode you can uh, take the electrode see you can see it floats uh, also you can insulate the uh, part where you use um, you know you tie the wire to the copper uh, carbon electrode uh, so you can drop them in you can do it that way too so you need the jumper wires, uh, I'm sorry uh, crocodile uh, clips uh, that uh, I used to plug my wires in you can simply tie wires if you don't have them now I'm gonna put my batteries so the reason behind this is uh, we buy surface disinfectants for a huge price about 5 liter is about um, more than 3,000 to 4,000 uh, rupees that is about um, uh, $50 so our solution is brewing right now you can see the bubbles coming up um, you will see some sediments that based on the, your the salt you use if your salt has a few impurities uh, more sediments show up if your salt is pure less sediments show up and uh, I've taken some water in this beaker you can use any other container you can use uh, So now you take the uh, water that has, I mean the beaker that has water, now I'm going to put some ink that is so satisfying to uh, look at, okay, jokes apart. So now uh, I'm going to take this and shake it up a little bit. Uh, now we are going to take some sodium hypochlorate out of our solution. Oh, I forgot to mention that if your solution is ready uh, you should smell a, uh, a chlorine gas I mean a swimming pool kind of smell comes out so after some time you can just turn it off um, when you smell the chlorine gas uh, the solution also has, also has chlorine gas kind of smell so now I'm going to take some of the thing and some of our sodium hypochlorite and pour it into the solution okay so this blue it has glow into somewhat a lower shade than the previous one so um, this is uh, an, uh, some some more solution I've taken in uh, in a test tube it uh, it is starting to you know change its color to pale blue no it's uh, pale uh, yeah so its tone is decreasing the blue tone in the now it's pale with a violet tint and finally transparent water with a violet tint yeah so now it's pure water thank you for watching this video hope you find it informative